This is the hurry up and wait of uh, state government. I am very grateful that I have that money to be able to, to hire more people for the building. We now have to wait for the budget to be certified, which happens in August or September. And then once it's certified, I then have to go to the state HR department to create the positions. Um, I do have in mind some things that I think would be very helpful to the North Carolina public schools. I do have in mind bringing in someone with a real laser focus on uh, the vision of personalized learning and making sure we do it right, making sure that we bring in the right uh, electronics, the right content, but more importantly, making sure that we, we don't just throw devices into a classroom and say teachers figure it out, making sure we take the right steps so that teachers feel comfortable with this, this new type of moving from a, uh, a customer service teaching to really more of a facilitator, a coach, to help all students reach that next level. I think they'd be good to have a point person. Uh, one thing that also throws a wrench into it is the fact that a bipartisan panel of judges clearly ruled in my favor and the favor of the General Assembly that it is perfectly acceptable for me to hire the top deputies at the department. Um, I'm very grateful uh, for the people in the department for stepping up and, and pushing for my vision, uh, but we also have high-level vacancies still at that department that I could fill instantly uh, if, if the state board did not continue to drag out this court case. Um, again, three-judge panel, bipartisan, summary judgment said the, the state board shouldn't have even brought the case. Uh, and, and now the state board is appealing and, and really uh, prolonging uh, the, the change where uh, I could uh, immediately get in and, and start doing some things to, to redo the org chart and, and bring in that extra support that we need to really drive down this vision.